Good day, everybody. My name is Gary, and welcome to episode number five of The Joy of Shaving. Today, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to call this the uh, Barbershop Shave. And I've got a towel from Fender Hands that I bought that is uh, 28, I believe it's uh, 28 inches long. So I'm going to fold this thing in half, and I've got a sink full of uh, pretty hot water. And I'm just going to roll this up. I'm going to roll it up like this. So I've got this. I'm going to put that in the hot water. And let it soak up some of that hot water from the sink. Now I'm rinsing it out. I'm not getting all the water out, but I'm getting a lot of it out. And now I'm going to go throw this in the microwave for 30 seconds, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the towel out of the microwave. Here we go, and now... Oh, nice hot towels. Oh, 30 seconds was plenty long enough. Really warm. And I'm just getting the old skin up to temperature here. You don't want it so hot that it's going to burn your skin. And of course the time depends on how powerful your microwave is. My microwave is about uh, between four and six hundred watts, I think it is. Okay, I can put the towel back. It's done its job. And now I'm going to put on... Today's uh, shave is going to be with aloe and water. Fender Hands aloe and water shave cream. This is the pre-shave oil, so we're going to get a little bit of this out. See if we can get this into the hand. This is the hardest part, is getting this out into... There we go. It's more like a dance. You just got to be gentle with it. And there we go. That should be plenty. Get the oil on the face, folks. Oh, it's a nice thick oil. The Alwyn water is not the best smelling of the Fender Hand soaps, but it it does work really well. As far as leaving my skin feeling wonderful after the shave. Okay, now I'm going to go wash my hands off. All right, folks. I have. Taking my scuttle, I put it in the microwave for 38 seconds, and that should be plenty to get our lather going. Today we're going to be using Fender Hands Aloe and Water Shave Cream to go with the pre-shave oil. Get my world-famous uh, Ace Freely guitar pick. Just kidding, it's not really an Ace Freely guitar pick. It's just a guitar pick I bought to scoop my soap out, and I'm going to scoop out that much. We'll turn on this camera here, and we're going to put the soap back in the bowl. Alright. Woo, the water is definitely hot. So shout out to all my shaving buddies, Alex, Chuck, Mikey Shaves, uh, Rusty, whole bunch of us, whole whack of us. Joe at Joe Shaved Den, I watched one of his videos this morning. Paul H. Films, Double A Shaves, a whole bunch of these. Okay. We'll commence to whipping up a lather here. I am using my favorite shave brush, the Fender Hands High Mountain White Badger Brush. I have gotten most of the water out of the Badger Brush so that I can... Uh, slowly add the water myself as I go. I prefer that than to leave all the water in the brush because sometimes that's just too much water. So, Okay, I can see we're going to need to add some water. So we'll dribble it in a little bit at a time here. And commence to making ourselves a nice lather. It's already trying to Get over the sides, I see. 
A little more water still. These Fenderhand soaps are made in England and they'll take a lot of water. And this shave bowl, or shave scuttle I should say, by Steve Woodhead is just the absolute bomb as far as scuttles go, I think. I think this guy really knew what he was doing when he made this scuttle. There we go. My God, I'm throwing lather all over the place. I've got so much lather. Little more water still. We are going to have just tons of lather, folks. Absolute tons of lather. I'm going to leave that splayed down there like so. That'll pick up the heat from the scuttle. Oh, ooh, the water is still hot in the sink. Let's get this uh, show on the road. The razor today is going to be the Mercur 34G. Throw that in the sink and get it uh, heating up. Now we'll take some of this lather and here we go. Oh yes, star of the show, the warm lather. Folks, here we go. Squeegee off them lips. And let's get our first pass going. Oh, those oils just make everything nice and smooth. I just think the oils offer superior protection to the creams. Though they are definitely not as convenient as the creams. You've got to go wash the oil off your hands afterwards. And A uh, little more messy. But better protection, I think, uh, from cuts and nicks. And we don't need any happy little accidents here with our shave. The joy of shaving. Nobody likes to get cuts. Just like that, pass one was done. Pass one was done, it even rhymes. There we go, throw some water up on here. Here we go, pass number two. Oh yes, nice and warm. Stays warm in the scuttle for the whole shave.
just feels so nice. Okay, here we go, folks. Pass two. Two. Yeah, I got one of my shaving buddies, Alex. Now, Alex has got almost... No, he thinks I have a long neck, and I found out that's because the poor man has no neck. He's got no neck. It's just a head on a shoulders like this. And when he wants to turn left or right, he's actually got to kind of penguin walk to the left, and then he's got a penguin walk and a series of small steps to look left or right because he, he can't just do this, eh? So I... Took me a while to figure out why he thought my neck was so long, but then I got looking at him and it's, he's got no neck at all. Poor fella. Poor fella, Alex. I'm with you, brother. I am with you. A supporter, brother. Gotta protect the short neckers of the world. Oh, the jawline. Always a tense area. Oh. Are so good, folks. There we go, folks. That is two passes. Oh, some more water on the face. Oh, we're, we're feeling pretty much uh, baby bottom smooth all over here. Which is a good excuse to go for the final pass. Do some back buffing. Absolutely wonderful soap from England. I can't figure out who makes it for them, but it is definitely good soap. Okay, here we go, folks. A little back buffing. Nice and smooth. This has got a feather blade in it, and this is its third use. Forgot to mention that at the start. Okay. Let's just have a feel around and see how we did. Trouble spots. Always the trouble spots, gentlemen. Almost all of us men have them. plug on this gentleman and ladies if there's any ladies watching I don't think there are but in case there are ladies and gentlemen 
Okay, that is the shave in the books. I'm going to tidy up and I'll be right back. All right, folks, I've got things all tidied up. It's just a matter of uh, chasing around the face with our little block of alum now. See if we got any, see how we did with our shave. This will let you know. Incredible shrinking block of alum. If you had a rough shave, this will give you a little extra sting in spots. If you had a really smooth shave, you'll probably not notice anything. It's always good to go over your skin with this after you've had a shave. Part of the, part of the pampering process. It's all about the pampering. All right, dry that off. Couple slices of TP. Some people leave it on their face. I don't. It tends to dry out the skin. Okay. Wash her off. And now I don't notice that oil on my skin at all. The soap's pretty much gotten rid of it all. Now we're going to finish with a little crown aftershave bomb. Crown. It's kind of got no scent, which is why I like this. It's a nice, rich, creamy aftershave bomb without uh, any kind of residual smell to it. So that your aftershave or cologne doesn't have to compete with the shave bomb. Now. I got this idea from Molly Shaves, who I think used one something like this. Now I've had this fan, I've had this fan, you guys, forever, and had no use for it other than as an ornament. And now I put it in the bathroom, just so I can. I don't have to do the hot flash things anymore, eh? No more of the hot flashes. I can just use this fan that dries that old bomb up nice and quick. Works just ace. Is great idea, Molly. Okay, I can feel my face is dry. We'll hang that back up. And today I've decided we're going to go with Aca Kappa Men's White Moss. Uh, written in Italian, I guess. So we're going to take this and we're going to go for the throat. There we go. Nice soft smell to that. Nice soft scent powdery kind of scent. All right, folks. Well, that is the Joy of Shave in episode five uh, complete. Thank you to everyone who took the time to watch my video. I really uh, appreciate everybody's time. I will see you on the next video, which will be Thursday. I misspoke on Sunday and said there'd be a Monday video, but I've gotten the day screwed up, you guys. So uh, I'm going to do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Uh, if I can remember to keep uh, in that order. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.